These are today's Jeopardy highlights. Originally from Derry, New Hampshire, Mike Elliott. From Duluth, Georgia, Marsha Free. And our returning champion from Ocean City, New Jersey, Chris Panulo. Let's take a look at your categories in the Jeopardy round. Figure speech six. On Get Smart, the agents of control used this anti-bugging device. Chris. What is the cone of silence? That's correct. What is Krakow? Krakow was the capital then. What is all in the family? Right. What are the kitchen and the bathroom? You got it. Who is Pope John Paul II? You are correct. Let's see what happens today in Double Jeopardy. Here are your categories. It's a big place for 400. It's Great Bell, clocks in at just over 15 tons. Mike. What is Big Ben? Yes. What is Hurt? That's correct. What is Jagged Little Pill? Yes. What is Abominable? Yes, a different kind of snowman. Ah. Science, science 16. The answer there <laughs> is the first daily double on the round. You have a knack for finding them when you need them, Chris. 11,000. Wow. All right, a lot rides on this single clue. Here's your daily double in science grab bag. Ceres and Pallas are found between the orbits of these two planets. What are Mars and Jupiter? In the asteroid belt, that is correct. You have $23,400. What is Big Sir? That's right. What is George? Yes. What is Gable? Yes. Old words for 2,000. Answer, Haley <laughs> Double. Well, this just got interesting, Mike. I've waited my whole life to say this, Ken. Let's make it a true daily double. Okay. Your entire videography career has been leading to this moment. <laughs> Here is your clue in old words. Meaning to consecrate or make holy, it was around for nearly a millennium before it appeared in the Gettysburg Address. What is hallow? We cannot hallow this ground. That is correct. <laughs> we got a ball game. What is Big Apple? Right. What is tin? Yes. What is Charles? That's correct. What is algae? That is correct. We've got two big scores up there today. A lot is riding on the Final Jeopardy category. We are dealing with famous ships in Final Jeopardy today. Here's the clue. Its wreck was discovered in 1989, 48 years after it had been sunk, and 91 years after the man it was named for had died. Marsha Free in the middle. Let's see, what ship did she come up with? What is the Andrea Doria? And the Andrea Doria sunk in the 50s, that's not correct. It's gonna cost you not a penny. You have $1,600. Mike Elliott was in second place after a gutsy daily double wager. What ship did he think of? Oh, he also put, what is the Andrea Doria? No, he's gonna lose 18,200, taking him to 8,600. Chris Panulo had the lead going into final, but not the decisive lead he often does. First of all, what was his response? What is the Bismarck? Yes, the German battleship sunk by the British in 1941. So you're gonna add to that already impressive score. Wow, $16,201. That's 53,601 today, and an eight-day total of 275,502. Looking for more fun Jeopardy videos? The smart thing to do would be to click the subscribe button below.